Here's a fun little project, a pan and tilt camera mechanism, 3D printed, with a little FPV camera sitting on top. The mechanism is controlled, as you can see, by these two servos. And the servos get their input from this little joystick, which today's video is about. We've covered the servos in a previous video. You should see a playlist on the screen now where you can go and watch those videos, should you wish. But today it's all about the, the joystick, how we get the joystick connected and the basic programming of it. So let's take a look now at the simple Eligu example and we'll come back to this guy at the end. In the Eligu documentation we can see the parts that we need, nothing very much at all, just the joystick module, at the Arduino itself and some wires, a little description of the joystick there are five pins, the plus five volts and ground, the X and Y axes, and there is a switch by pressing, you can hear it clicking there, pressing down on the top of the joystick. Not surprisingly, the wiring is also very simple, just one digital input for the switch, the analog inputs for X and Y, like so. Having uploaded the code, as it says here, the analog joysticks are basically potentiometers. They return analog values. So in the centered position, the joystick should return around about 512. And at each extreme, we'll go from 0 to 1024. Let's take a look at that in the sketch. Simply in the sketch here, we define the relevant pins for the X and Y and the switch itself. The setup, equally simple, defining the pin modes and starting the serial monitor. In the loop, just printing the switch X and Y axis values. Now when we activate the serial monitor, we see that the switch is currently a digital 1, and the X and Y, they should be 512, but obviously being an analog, there's a slight offset there caused by the potentiometers themselves. Looking at the switch first, if we press down, the switch value turns from 1 to 0. And if we move the x-axis to the right, it goes to 0. And as we move back, increasing, and we go the opposite direction. And it's now nearly 1024, which is the maximum. Back to the center, we will see there's going to be some variation in its centering on the y-axis going up fully get, goes to zero slowly coming back down to center and then the opposite direction 1021 so a simple and yet very effective device finally look back at our little pan and tilt project just looking at the code and there'll be a link in the description to this and also to the Thingiverse STL files for the pan and tilt mechanism itself if you wish to 3D print one. Quite a simple sketch obviously including the, the servo library which we did before declaring some variables. Although the serial setup there's nothing printed in this particular example. The setup really just declaring the pin modes for the servo pins in the loop, reading the joystick as we saw before, looking at its position and moving the servo accordingly. So a very simple sketch, but as you can see, very effective.